close that, and we're good. All right. Clocky statue. You can level up the statue. Oh. Come to think of it, I wonder if I have to go to the hotel to return to reality. Strange. Where's everyone gone? Come here again, my great friend. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no. Okay. TikTok. Golden Bank now, my face on. I think I do that. Here, right? I do. Rochelle Park, Golden Bank now. It's clock credits. Hang out with you, buddy. My true friend, you wouldn't say things like that. Green Bridge, King's clock credits, buy stuff at the stores in Dreamville. Blah, 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 blah. Training credits, buy. Sorry, I'm completing missions. Clock credits, got you level gain. Aha! It's kind of like, um. Okay, no, I like this. This is good. This is good. This is very good. Catch up! Oh boy! I've eaten too much this time! <laughs> cool. Fantastic. We continue the rest of our story. Make choices we won't regret. It's all cool design for an NPC. Mm -hmm. I like that design. Sambo? <sighs> we meet again, my dear. It looks like you have not taken my warnings to heart. A pity. Are you so enchanted by that girl? Sampo, shut the fuck up. You're just so blind. Careful. I'm more than certain now that this friend of yours is dangerous. Oh, this brave little girl appears to be protecting you. The less you talk, the better, buddy. You talk too much. D oh, I love Firefly. She is my favorite character in this game. Period. I don't care what anybody says. She is now my favorite character in this game. If she's a playable character, I'm going to E6 her. She is the best fucking character in this game. Yes. Fucking tell him. Shut the fuck up, Sampo. my dear i have to admit you're different from your friend even so you are lagging far behind the main party have you not noticed yet what the family is hiding the secret behind this sweet dream and as for you the trailblazer who saved the ice world i wonder how much others might have embellished sempo's story when recounting the happenings on yorello 6 it's surprising what tales they spin. I'm really, really... I don't care. <sighs> um, excuse me. Why don't you rest for a little... It wasn't Sampo the whole time. It wasn't Sampo. Inside the real dreamscape. Damn it. We got, we got, we got fucked over by a sparkle. Them legs. It was sparkle the whole time. Damn, she got me. I had a feeling. I'm not gonna lie. I did have a feeling that there it was. It was strange. Uh, this, so, what is this place? I'm back at the hotel. But no, this feeling. The surroundings look a little like I just entered a dream. Okay, it was sparkle. Still, Firefly is great. Tell Sampo to shut the fuck up. But it was sparkled the whole time. I don't want sparkle to shut up. I don't know. Confused. Damn. Uh, I can't get in touch with it.
Parkour. Yes. Oh, this girl. Well, if you're race, I've been in a maze and I'm trapped here. I think if Mary can take shape, you think it will be a vast expanse of sea. Yeah, Sparkle is playable soon. She's coming out next next patch, or the next then the second half of patch two point I should say. So I'm excited for that, and now she's in the story again. Yay! This is too weird. Firefly? Yo, Firefly, what's up? Huh. So you're really here too? What happened? I don't know. In any case, we must still be in a dream. Say on love cats. We can't be anywhere else. Thank you very much for the follow, I appreciate that. I'm never wrong about the distinctive sense of memoria that's in the air. But this is very different from the sweet dream that I'm familiar with. It's suffocating, silent, uneasy. And these floating words, can you see them too? This kind of place would never exist on Pentacone under the provision of the family. So, could this be a dream bubble? No, that's not right. Do you remember, before we were unconscious, that friend of yours said, the real dreamscape? He's not my friend. I should have been wary of him sooner. Sorry. Regardless, the family must be hiding something. Something about the truth of the dreamscape. And you probably noticed it when you woke up. Every time I get a chance to, I will disown Shampoo. The ticking of clocks all around us. <sighs> My gut tells me that the secret hidden here is also linked to the mysterious watchmaker. If it points us towards the watchmaker's legacy, it will be connected to everyone who has melded to Pentaconi's dream. Let's go. We have to move. Be it to find an exit or the truth. Yes, we do. Can't get through here. Let's take the way around from the side. Ready or not, here I come. Dead end here too. Given the layout of the room, are they really suggesting we maneuver around using the walls? Dreamscape's gravity is clearly strictly forbidden. Yeah. Careful. There are some strange things on the wall. Mikhail. Puzzles. You know, consider the bow charge you are currently carrying will also make the converged wall collapse when I return to the original state. Oh. I love how lightning continues to be one of the most common elements. Oh, I love this music. I'm actually going to turn the sound effects down a little bit. 
turn the music up a little bit. Hell yeah. Devils or devils. I'll crush them all. There's more good times. Time to say bye. Boom. It's like creepy and jazzy all at the same time. Oh, I love this. It's great. It's not my first time hearing it, but I, I've heard a few couple of things. But it just it kinda hit me in his tam. This is the combat music in here, so. Damn, he did a lot of damage to her. I always like what I see, Kafka, because you're on my screen. It's just how it works. This is too overwhelming. The exit is on the other side. How are we going to cross over? I imagine there is a bridge that we can make. Ooh, what's down here? I like how there's no map yet. Oh, there is. Oh, it's the 3D map. That's right. I forgot they did this. They they changed the map because sometimes you're you're like on that is the surface or this is the surface. Oh, this is actually really cool. This is actually awesome. It's very reminds me very much of near. God, a near crossover with Star Rail would be awesome. I would love a turn-based version of uh, A2 or 2B or something along those lines. No, oh, it'll never happen, but it would be so cool. God, it would be so cool. Does that hurt? It would be so cool, guys. Don't throw the game. Relax. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. There's more existence as unity. Forget. May as well kill them all. Stand still. Thieves or devils, I'll crush them all. Some value. Come on, Matt. Welcome back to my stream, buddy. How are you doing today? How are you doing this evening? I am well. I am well. Oh, wow. Incredible. This is really a sight that can only be witnessed in a dream. These uh, Welcome back now. Words have been appearing and then vanishing persistently for a while now. Whose thoughts are they? And who is this Mikhail? Mikhail, I've ever heard this name before. I feel like I have heard this name before. It's like I can feel emotions contained within them. Doing a bit of a busy. Football is well. All is well. Fear. Unyielding resolve in the face of death. Mm -hmm. Unyielding resolve, huh? I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. Oh, wow. Don't throw the game. Come your happy new year. Got them. Relax. Grace and elegance. Existence is unity. May as well kill. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Stand still. Forget your wallet. Yeah. 
The human body is beautiful in its fragility. We can use it. Well, of course it's not absolutely safe. Not everything is 100% safe. Makes sense that there would be a dark creepiness to this. There's nothing but a jigsaw puzzle here. I fix the door. The pieces look like they flew to both sides of the room. Yeah, famous last words is completely safe. Yeah, nothing is ever completely safe. Oh, this mini game, cool. Cool. Look, Ozzy, I'm welcome back to the stream. Era, welcome back to the stream. There we go. Cool. How's it going here? Going pretty good. Going pretty good. Awesome. I like that. That's a cool puzzle. See you with race head, you never thought you'd say something because you're fierce from horror and there's no green ones. Crimson doorkeeper bird for 300 bouts and eventually narrowly edged out the bird by half a baseball bat. Oh, good game. Mary pauses in front of you, breathless.
You're good, Galactic Base Bar. I'm upset about it, but you did defeat me, Chirp. Parrot's soul glass on you, Chirp. Me, Clocky's friend. You should have said so earlier. Reaching the end, right? I would hope so. Okay, that was kind of creepy. Got real dark. I don't like that. Uh, just one chest. I'm sure that's not a trap. Oh, it's definitely a trap. <laughs> Should we open it? Yeah, fuck it. turned on so creepy but since there are so many doors here we should be able to leave through one of them the music got real creepy too Okay, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn those sound effects back up a little bit. So we get that full creepy experience. The exact same room? Help! Help me! No. Keep going straight. Just run. It's actually giving me chills. I don't like horror. He's I'm bitch. <laughs> no, wait. Could it be? Been killed? Not with the fuck. <laughs> it's creeped me out, man. It's one of the reasons I couldn't play Bioshock because that shit creeped me out too. If I scream, I apologize. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. We've gone straight every time. The music. This is fuck. This whoever whoever came up with this shit. Fuck you. <laughs> this shit's so creepy. Ah! Every time. <laughs> That's a hell of an entrance. I love it. Let's go. Memory zone meme something unto death. This thing looks fucking cool. Pros resist, it's anyone resist, ability, fading radiance. And so the game will stack each time a character uses base sex go ultimate. When sunset reaches three stacks, immediately uses Losing even tied light on the last acting character. Spect is removed after using losing event of even tied light once or after becoming weakness broken. 
losing even sight, immediately launches a killing blow on the last acting character who used basic attacks for the ultimate and inflicts morbid dream on them. Deal physical damage to a single target, deal physical damage to all targets. That increases damage dealt for one turn. This effect is removed when this unit becomes weakness broke. Sad true sad true lover never find my grave. Jesus Christ. Whenever a target gets inflicted with morbid dream, summons a corresponding sombrous Svunker. Svunker? Slinker? Slinker? When all targets get inflicted with morbid dream or are knocked out, the battle will be considered a defeat. It's phase one. Phase two. Fading radiance, losing even time life. Funeral kiss, sunken rain, biting obituary. Phase two, go into the good night. This is the nightfall state and locks onto the two characters who are due to act next. He uses watery disillusion in the next action. Watery disillusion immediately launches a killing blow on all locked on targets and inflicts morbid dream on them. If there are no locked on targets, launches a killing blow on two random characters and inflicts morbid dream on them. Deals physical damage to a t single target, deals physical damage to all targets. Sad true lover never find my grave. Yeah. Okay. Story. Entity imbued with specific cognition accumulated from fragments of the subconscious in the memory zone. A mysterious and dangerous memory zone meme seen as the death that shouldn't exist in dreams. Its sinister shadow wanders within the 12 hours, bringing unforeseen calamity wherever it goes. It spreads misfortune like a sharp blade, casting a shadow of death over beautiful dreams. Creepy. I love it. I love it. Fire, wind, imaginary. Fuck. Every I only have one petal in life's garden Oh, it slowed everything down. Will be swept away. By the wind of time. We're in slow mo now. First time we're fighting this boss, I'm gonna keep it in slow mo for a minute. I wanna see some of his actions. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Enjoy. Mm. It's hard to hear the music over the sound effects, I'm not gonna lie. The sound effects are so loud. So I'm gonna turn them down again. Sunset, okay. Stand still. Sunset. Hold everyone back again. Thanks. You're too good to me. You hold some academic value, mm. I suppose. Pay attention. It's gonna grab Ron May game three stacks with sunset. Damn. So I still have all of her buffs and effects though, right? Yeah. Okay, so even though she's in there. It's just one hit as well. Good times never last. I have to get her out in Time four times for both of those. No, that's the counter there. You can dot and quickly destroy some burst selector and move more of a dream from characters. Ah, dot actually works on them. That's good enough. This like techno creeper music, I love it. This is awesome. By the wind of time. Really, I'm gonna turn the music all the way up because it's just. Illusion. Oh shit. Oh. 
can't feel certain sensations. Oh, Black Swan. Nice. That's cool. If you don't know the right technique, you might never return from the shadow of death, emerging without a scratch. <laughs> okay. Black Swan will assist allies in battle. Click to use Ethereal Cradle. I press our call on everything. Nice. Very nice. I like it. I like it. I'm cool with this. Let's go, Tail. Stand still. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Fire wind. Come feast your eyes. It's never too early. For a happy new year. Perfect. Moonlight spark will be swept away by the wind of time. Look at that creep vibe to it. I love it. Mm, nice. This new boss is really cool. Kind of needed to heal, even though I'm not gonna get first skill this turn. Uh. Oof. Gwen needs more defense. Kicks up a little bit. I like it. Okay. Okay. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Forget your wallet. Don't come any closer. Move aside, amateurs. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. Went to bed in two basics, so. Relax. There's more to life. Pay attention. Nice. Let's go. See you next time. Hurry. She kept it there, and then we escaped. Out of the dream. Oh, is that a sting? You're awake, lazy bug. Looks like you had a nice dream. Damn, I wasn't expecting to be so right in my face, Black Swan. Get out of my face, Black Swan. I'm trying not to pull for you, okay? Get get the boob out of my face. How was it? Did you dream of me? I mean, yes, but we don't talk about that. I didn't do much. Just helped you leave the memory zone. Welcome to reality. More specifically, the reverie. The safest and most familiar place you can be. I'm happy to see that you've kept your wits and that you haven't been affected by the primal dreamscape. How lucky. Is the Garner Lexington's memo keeper? I know you've many questions, so please compose yourself. Before that, you should let your friends know your I wasn't safe. expecting her voice to be so good. Like, I like it a lot. It's very calming. Which I guess is good, but I wasn't expecting that. 
let's see. Break the special little Mr. Stone balloon in a child's dream. Uh, dreams, even emotions are tangible. Collect one emo gear. Discover the serendipitous joy in dreamscape. Escape from the shadow of death. Nice. Two more sections. A new piece of the event, Dream Chaser Bulletin. Man, I didn't really need it's saving. The keeper obviously came here with an agenda. We should remain vigilant. True. Look, Miss Himiko, I brought the kid back. Kid. I hey, I'm a grown ass man. You're not calling me a kid. You're all right. We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. We were worried sick. It's good to see you're unharmed. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan, memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. Yeah, Miss Himiko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in the dreamscape. We've only met once, but thanks to you, we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. So how did you end up there? And what the heck happened? Elaborate on what you experienced. So, the one who attacked you was a girl dressed in red, adept at illusory arts, and was able to shape shift. Yes. Her name is Sparkle, a masked fool who has infiltrated Penacomi. Don't worry, she won't be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the back for a job well done. It seems you know her well. Of course. I know everyone here. On Penacone, anyone could be lying, but the remembrance does not lie. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations, but that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Penacone itself. Okay. Penacone! It Have you not sensed it yet? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. And the memory zone he fell into. That's the true dreamscape. Chaotic. Dangerous. Enigmatic. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. Keep talking, please. <sighs> She's right. Everyone... Do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? Huh. So everyone saw the same thing? I remember... Well, it was a room. And then through a mirror. I came to a long hallway. The gallery of thoughts. That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Penacone's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. You're right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but in hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel mm -hmm. in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. Yes. What could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what he just experienced, and the answer is clear. Yeah, it's moving about in the hotel. Penacone's dream is sinking right now, turning back to its original form and falling into the deep sea. 
Sinking? You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? Oh shit. The encounter at the dreamscape hotel was a sign. I see. That would explain. Yeah, the their entire enterprise, everything is about to collapse. All of it. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, it would it would tarnish the name of the planet of festivities. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Even the guest's safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that he encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme? How could a meme that heralds death and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe? Everyone could be lying on Penacone. Does that include the family as well? Miss Black Swan, we fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion. I say we leave. For what reason Not our problem. has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Hmm. Let me rephrase then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the remembrance. Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuit in aesthetics. Mm -hmm. I am a memo keeper and a collector. I too yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? As for you all, nameless of the Astral Express and practitioners of the Trailblaze, I have faith in your potential, as well as in the unique splendor you will unleash on the stage. Uh -huh. This is why I wish to befriend all of you. <laughs> A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. I don't trust her. I don't trust anybody. Everybody on this planet is fucking sus. The only person I trust right now is Firefly. We don't know why, because she told Sampo to shut the fuck up. She can do no wrong in my eyes right now. I don't care if it was Sampo as, as, as Sparkle or Sparkle as Sampo or whatever. Right now, she told Sampo to shut the fuck up. And, uh, yeah. I don't trust nobody. I understand. But before replying, we must first discuss this among ourselves. You trust Sampo with every fiber of your being? I mean, that's fine. Naturally. Tru Take truthfully, Sampo probably is probably one of the most, uh trustworthy characters simply because you know he's always working this game right so you just know you always know that he's working something basically you can trust like people you can trust are people that are predictable sampo is kind of predictable in that like he's always running something it's the other predictable ones that you can't trust like venturi dr ratio and sparkle we don't know her yet fucking black swan i don't trust her either i don't trust nobody except firefly Everyone was weird there? They are. It's best to be skeptical of her. There's a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. But I worry about the worst outcome. If the dreamscape's anomaly really exists, and it isn't a natural occurrence, but instigated by someone behind I mean, the Trailblaze is basically the path of adventurers, which means we have to get involved, right? It's kind of what we do. Then it likely has something to do with the Yeah, it must have something to do with the Watchmaker's invite also, you know? Huh. How'd you figure that one out? Well, uh, excluding any extreme scenarios, the mastermind responsible for these shifts in the dreamscape undeniably stands against the family, which narrows it down to two possibilities. The IPC and something else. Someone is drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Panacone. Either that, or the family has been forced oh, okay, to seek outside mind. aid surreptitiously yeah. for self-preservation. But from the encrypted message on the invite and the family's reaction, the former is yeah. more likely. Someone's using all these extra invites to distract the family. Which also means that the one who sent out the encrypted nameless message and the mastermind behind the anomaly are on the same side. Maybe even the same person. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean a thing, right? In terms of methods, both the fools and the Riddlers could 
pull it off. Uh, hasn't the IPC cracked the message too? <sighs> March, calm down. It's just a possibility. But if this encrypted message isn't some harmless prank, but done so to invite the I don't think the fools do anything fight, for just nothing. Tell you what I discovered, and I'm sorry. It's bad. Of news. course, it's bad. News. According to reliable sources, some people spotted a tall, silver armored man on Panacone. I've reached out to the Bloodhound family for news and visited many of those guests who claim to have seen <laughs> Sam this invader. And this is what I received. I've sent it to you. Open it and take a look. <laughs> yep. Yep. Fucking Silver Wolf and Sam. I mean, music boxes could be Kafka. Now the music's too loud. Damn it. Yeah, the music's too loud now. You can barely hear what she's saying. He's a straight shooter. The values are fair. Five, I think you'll get along with him just fine. Don't be overwhelmed by his enthusiasm. Oh, he had me relay. I miss you. The curtains have just risen over the dream that can't be reached. The various factions have started to move. I wish you luck. Don't fall behind, nameless. Because suddenly the music, like, picked up in, like, loudness because it's fucking trumpets right now or whatever. The situation is clear. The planet of festivities isn't what it seems on the surface. The Molten Knight, Sam. Molten Knight, that's a cool name. Of Klamoth's Iron Cavalry, a genetically engineered warrior. He possesses superhuman perception and, and acts decisively. He'll leave no margin for error. This individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. Klamoth, Glamoth. Remnant Glamoth. Wasn't Glamoth another Aeon? This message is a threat. The hidden map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. For the sake of what's to come, we may be on amicable terms, but that if the family asks, just tell them that the Express is investigating the Stellaron Hunters. Then we are in agreement. Let's return. I need to change my sound, because now, now the volume is too loud. God damn it. This game needs to pick a lane. Really needs to pick a lane. Like the mount, the music is just really loud here with the fucking trumpets. Like so loud. To me, anyways, I don't know how it's coming across the stream or how it'll come across in the recording, but to me, it is really fucking loud. We'll keep it there. Keep the voices up a little bit more. If I need to adjust the music again, I will. Miss Black Swan, the Express is willing to cooperate with you. We need a proper guide to navigate the memory zone. I'm at your service. I will not disappoint. You two, return to your own rooms. Enter the dream, and if everything goes without a hitch, we'll see one another at the Dreamscape Hotel's lobby. I'll stay in the real world to ensure everyone's safety. If needed, I will also parlay with the family. No, well, I guess we're getting him a go. No problem, Miss. Can we just get Welt and him go? Let March parlay. God damn it, March! It seems that I'll have a hard time gaining your trust, even if I personally did rescue your friends. It's no problem, of course, other than the fact that my feelings are a little hurt. <laughs> we're counting on you, Welt. 
As for us, let's get ready to see the dreamscape's true visage. We'll be busy for a while. I wonder if Firefly has returned to reality yet. What if she only exists in the dreamscape? Mm, I don't have her contact info. I'll ask Black Swan. Where'd she go? I'll ask her. Where'd she go? Just over here. Right. Hmm. Seems the only one. You look anxious. Worried about that girl? You can talk to me if you've something on your mind. In this world, there's no one who heals the heart better than a memo keeper. I just did what I had to do. Mm. You are special, after all. So special that many pairs of eyes are watching your every move. True. Don't worry. That is a one-way door leading to awakened reality. Unless that girl is so stubborn that she refuses to wake up from the dream, which isn't possible. She must be holed up somewhere in the hotel massaging her eyes right now. It appears you've had some unhappy memories. I don't know why I said that. But it's obvious that this partnership makes the most sense to you, me, and the express crew, no? So you can take it easy and trust me. Of course, I'm not the only memo keeper who has come. Penaconi has opened its doors to factions beyond the family for the first time. And the garden must record this historic True. moment. So you can try working together with others as well, as long as you can see them. <laughs> no, I will accompany you into the dream to prevent harm from befalling you all. Memo keepers don't need a dream pool Makes sense. anyway. All right, drift peacefully off to sleep, and I'll be right with you. Yeah, no, she's 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 scheming up something. I can feel it, but also at the same time, I, don't, I think I'm okay with it. Who's taller? I think Kafka's slightly taller. I feel like Kafka is slightly taller. Maybe, no, actually, no, they're at the same height. They're definitely the same, no. Like looking at it, I think, depends on what angle I come from, I guess. This angle looks like her, this angle, they look the same. They're about the same height. But, what about booba size? Right next to each other, about the same. Just saying. All right, moving on. Moving Welcome on. to Penaconi, honor. Lie down in the dream pool. Into the dream. Back in this familiar room. This way, darling. Darling. Okay. Okay. You can't be. You can't be saying shit like that to me, lady. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? <laughs> That's good then. I know you're more sensitive to memoria, thus more easily affected by the dreamscape than others. This is also why I have to accompany Damn, you. Damn, Stellaron. I shall use my methods to relieve you. Don't worry, as your companions are safe. I had both of them each give me a trinket before I entered the dream. This will allow me to feel their presence in the memory zone. They're already awake in their rooms. Will you be comfortable in following me now? Time waits for no one. We must hurry to the lobby. God, I love her design so much. March's room is this way. Damn it. I should go meet up with her. Damn it. Damn it. I'm going to end up pulling for Black Swan. I can fucking feel it. If I don't get her on one of my other ones, I'm going to end up pulling for her. Must resist. Must resist. Or search her less fate. Intervene. She will awaken here. March, are you there? You knock, but there's no response. Are you in there? We are out to set off. You're not yeah, there's no response. March, it's me. Still no response. I know what you're thinking, but alas. That girl isn't in there, and neither is this her room. The moment you stepped into the memory zone, reality's building structures lost all meaning. I can sense that she is in a faraway place right Where's now. Where's Blank Swan's VA? Aaron 
Ren's Vec. What have I heard her before? Oh, it's... So, that's where I've heard her voice before. Okay. Wait, no. No, never mind. She... She's the voice of Blake in pretty much all of the cross the video game crossovers for Blake. That's weird. Blake from Ruby. Which is not like the base the voice for her in regular, like regular Ruby. That's weird. Mostly just in games and movies. Strange. I didn't know they did I didn't know Smite did a crossover with Ruby. That's weird. Huh. Justice League X Ruby Superheroes Huntsman Part 2. This is a movie? That's fucking weird. That's weird. Okay, cool. Whatever. That's weird. That's very weird. But okay. In the meantime, if we want to find that lobby the navigator mentioned, we'll have to try a little harder. These poor little things stumbling about. Strange. There appears to be someone else's presence here. Ah, uh, her. How is this possible? Are there no staff members here? Back around. Huh? What are you doing here? Well, not really. I just don't know where I am. I mean, you lost your way. We'll have to cut the banter short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children, shall we? I'm indebted to you both for your help. Do I get to test out Akron here? That would be awesome. All Damn. Things are as that would have been cool. Black final assistant in battle the next, for the next part of the journey. Okay, cool. This is actually really good because I'm using my dot team. This is actually uh, nice. Stand still. Existence is unity. May as well Every kill all. All will be swept away by the wind. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Finally, what? some peace and quiet. A true marvel. What are the two of you doing here? We could ask you the same thing. It's probably not as complicated as it sounds. It's all thanks to a masked fool. Maybe I unwittingly hurt her. And then in a flash of kaleidoscopic light, I ended up here. You aren't hiding anything, are you? Of course you? she is. Hiding? I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. Your arrival is timely. This dreamscape is fraught with danger. Since our destination is the same, how about we join forces? I can protect you from harm, but in the memory zone, I'll need assistance from the memo keeper as well. And if we run into the family, it wouldn't hurt to have one more person to explain the situation. Hmm. What do you think? You know, I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to say this. Thank you. I'm truly grateful. Let's Glad take it back. Akron might be the only person I actually trust. I don't know. Black Swan. Hmm. I truly hope so. I wonder if she has like a split personality and that's like why the red, red, the red voice comes out. I'm super curious. This is the first part of the and jump in and all the in the dream. Just. Hmm. A few decorative designs wouldn't go amiss. <sighs> this room. Why is it up Can't wait for Akron, same. The memory zone is constantly shifting its form. We're standing on Miss Acheron's words speak sense. Regardless, we have to reach that flat surface hanging overhead. 
I'll teach everyone some traversal tricks. Didn't we already learn this part of the tutorial? How about it? Can you feel the memoria flowing around you? Next, find a suitable spot and try walking up the wall. It worked. You really can walk up walls. Yep, that's kind of the point. A memory zone of this level is near child's play to a memo keeper. Come on, let's head out through the front door. Oh, I don't know. I I would consider that super impressive or anything. I mean, we already learned about this earlier. I mean, yeah. this is a dead end. No, it's not. You're natural, aren't you? You're a prodigy at remembrance. It's so weird, I love it. At first the little verticality was a little strange, but I do love it. They found a way to create verticality in a in a world where there might would normally probably not be any. Opens up a lot of space when you can 3D the whole thing. I like it. The first time it made me sick looking at it, but it's fine now. Huh. Cabin of Corrosion, Path of Dream Dive. Ah, the new relic set. Debuff by 12%, increases the crit rate by 4%. The wearer deals 8%, 12% increased crit damage to enemies with at least two to three debuffs. After the wearer inflicts a debuff on the enemy target, the aforementioned effects increase by 100%. Definitely a cool concept. I just don't know what to think about it yet. No. Makes sense. I think I think it was a cool idea, and I and I hope they never do it again. Basically, I can tell you that right now. It's a cool idea, but it will lose its novelty after the first time. Like any expansions to Pentacony should always be like this, probably. But um, if they uh, if they were to do this in like a bunch of different worlds and a bunch of different things, like find different ways to have us going over and around all this other stuff, it would get annoying. Eternal. I think personally. I'm scared. I'm scared. You're up. Happy New Year. But I do think it's really cool. Relax. <laughs> May as well kill them all. <laughs> You see? Me too. So chicken. There's an elevator here, just like in the lobby. We should be able to reach our destination with it. Should being the outward word. But the memory zone up ahead appears to be severely twisted. I'll be right Careful, back and I'll go grab a drink. See, I told you it wasn't going to be that simple. Where is this? door is locked too there's no end to this let me try you see the mercury close her eyes 
She was searching the room in an almost telepathic way, even every nook and cranny outside the room. This memory zone is overly twisted. I have to use an elegant method, so you two, please give me a little time. Yeah, I could definitely see this being Blake's voice actor. She sounds like her original VA. I'm not sure if, if it's just not credited or what. Hmm. Got it. I can see the core of this dreamscape. Yeah, that's there yeah, that's definitely Blake's voice. Members of the family. So good choice if they couldn't get the original trying voice actors to find their way forward. It appears that your friends aren't faring too well. One, two, three. That firefly. Wait. Three. There's a third person seeking the way to the lobby. Wait. It's the girl who was with you. It eludes me that there is a known semblance in the memory zone. Mirroring the essence she radiates. What reason does she have to delve so deep into the dreamscape? She... Is she running? No. Running away? Something's right behind her. This is not good. Everyone, we must hurry. There's no time. I'll just have to break the rules and use some methods to help you phase through the memory zone. I picked up slivers of her thoughts in the memory zone. These will help you form an impression of her. Now, you must hang on to these thoughts with all your might and shape them in your mind. I caught some very familiar memories just now. She's not the only old friend who has appeared here. There was also a third party at the scene oh, when you ran into too. danger. That memory zone meme. Oh shit. It is here as well. Aw oh, shit. Hurry, through here. This is cool. I like I do like most of the puzzles in this, honestly. It's good. And I even like the one where you turn into the little small dude. The only reason I didn't like it is because Sampo was involved. And I just don't like Sampo. The less of Sampo I see, the better. Get sure your thoughts stirred by the swirling current pulled along, descended a deep abyss, sinking. When the hatch opens again, what science will you behold? Perhaps no one can provide an answer. An indescribable fluid darkness flows from your chest to your throat. Suffocation engulfs you from within. Then a voice emerges. <laughs> I wonder if Firefly is part of the uh, Thorn Hunters. Camera went blurry. I don't know how long ago that was, but it didn't go blurry. Final Sigh escapes its origin unknown. It's because they're afraid to awaken from the dream. Watch out. A dangerous presence lurks nearby. Everyone, be on your guard. There's another bird. Lady Vermilion. Are you chirp? Oh, it's not Boss Stone. You really scared me there. Chirp. around here while Chirp is flirting. That's hilarious. <laughs> Unless Lady really doesn't know I'm back. This is embarrassing. It's hilarious. I don't know what the bird thing is, but I don't, I don't worry about it later. Firefly? Firefly! Cutscene. <sighs> D 
death. Okay, that was incredibly abrupt. Um, you, you, you like almost comical. I tried not to laugh in that because it was so shocking, but also like comical because it was just like, what the fuck just happened? Like it doesn't feel real. Like it's it happens so fast. That it's like what? Calm down. Deep. Allow me. Relax. You'll be fine. You lost one waifu, but you gained these two. It's okay. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know what to say to this right now. That was too sudden. Way too sudden. Damn. I'm really sorry, but I have to leave for a short while. Death still hovers about, and I must personally ensure Miss Himiko and Miss March 7th safety and warn them. I'll leave him to you, Miss Acheron. I'm so confused. It's just it like okay, so I I can't help but be like kind of jiggle uh, uh giggly sorry, about it because it's just like it just happens. It's like there's no there's no build up. It just kind of happens. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm more confused than like upset. I mean, I'm upset. Gave me chills, but so she's dead. Like dead, dead. Yeah, I don't like. That's the thing. I don't know if she's really dead because we're in a dream. If you die in the dream, do you die in real life? Like I don't. I don't know. Was she always just a dream person anyways? Like, that's the other thing I don't, I've never figured out, right? I just, I'm confused. I can't, it's hard to care about something, like a character dying in a game. If, like, even if you're attached to the character, if there's no, um, if it just doesn't feel weighted enough. I feel, it feels like a shock, shock value kill. Like, we're just gonna be shocking instead of a, I don't know, a buildup, I guess you could say. It's tragic, but it, it's... It's they didn't they needed to draw it out a little bit more. I don't know. It was good. You didn't even draw your blade. Why? Yeah, there's no substance. Exactly. Exactly. Uh exactly, Sion. There's just no substance to it. It just kinda happens. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, I I had no choice. Priorities figuring out what happened. Yes, we will. But not yet. Before the hunt, we should keep our eyes peeled and consider where the true enemies are hiding and how to fight them. Interesting. I like the way they capitalize the hunt because she is she's not a hunt character, but she's supposed to be a, I think a galaxy ranger, which are basically uh they work they're kinda like the Knights of Beauty, but for the hunt. Do not let pain dictate your thoughts. Compose yourself and you will walk the right path. Once Someone said to me, no compassion for the enemy, for that is cruelty upon yourself. But you must see clearly who the true enemy is. That's a good is. fucking line, actually. That's a good fucking line. I'm almost going to show that. That's a good fucking line. No compassion for the enemy, for it is cruelty to yourself. Cause it, it, which makes sense, because like if you... If you feel bad for the person, the people you're fighting, you you know you're you're making yourself suffer more, right? It's kind of like like you know like soldiers and other things like have to like sort of deaden themselves to the fact that, that you know you're taking a life because if you care for the people you're in life you're taking, and maybe one you shouldn't probably be doing it, and two, um, it 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 fucks your mental. 
but you also need to understand who the enemy is, right? Like your true enemy. I like, I like that. That's a good line. And then, with one swing of your blade, you must understand its meaning and the price you pay. It's another good. The second half of that's good too. This is the only advice I have for you, from someone burdened with a blood debt. Hell yeah. Love it. Love it. I'm back. And Miss Himiko has something to tell you. There's good news and bad news. I will keep your hands over Mary Olson and for you to press it against your forehead. You do as instructed, and a bone chilling coldness pierces your body, which then consolidates into a clear image. Oh, there's other people. You see Himiko march times together, instructed by the family. Black Swan stands beside them, unnoticed by the family. Sounds like if time allows, you can investigate Fireflies Matter first. Meet later at Clocky Statue. Which is why I must undertake Miss Himiko's request and bring both of you back to reality. Wait, so he just came in here I'm glad to, see that you're to do nothing and, and then have Firefly get killed season. by the death thing. What? Miss Black Swan. Do you not intend to open some sort of teleporter? Mm, I don't recommend that. I'm you so confused right simple, now. So we have to avoid any rough traversal methods like just now. Also, while we're departing, we can still do more for Miss Firefly, can't we? Some remnants of her presence linger nearby. Seize the chance to etch them into your remembrance before they're gone. If we can start investigating on the way, that'd be good. Let's go. We have to find another path. Sorry, but could you give me a few more minutes? I, um, I have some unfinished business. Okay. You watch as Zachary turns away and remember that it was there that she dissolved into a mere illusion. See her paws, lips purse, eyes down, cast every moment. She hunches down as if gathering something with her hands and rises again. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. <sighs> Let's the go. big sleep. Okay, this, okay, I don't like this at all. So this is supposed to be like the moment, right? I can feel it. I feel like they've got a special song playing right now. You know, Firefly dies, Acheron's here, Black Swan's here, but this feels fucking disjointed as hell. This is terrible. What the fuck is going on? I don't have no clue what's going on right now. Because initially I thought we came in here to go find the Stellarons or to find out like more about this space. But all we did was find Acheron, Firefly died, and then we're like, oh no, she died, and Acheron's mysterious, and the family got Himiko and Marge. Here's a sad song. Like, what? What the f Okay. All right. I, I have... Maybe I'm just missing something. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Maybe I skipped a line of dialogue. A half-faded cell phone lies on the floor, capturing an unsent message with a snapshot of two people wearing smiles. You pick it up. Someone's completely dissipated into a dream bubble. I mean... Okay... Transcan to an open eye in the abyss. Collect. Cool. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm overreacting or not reacting enough, but this just feels li like it just feels lifeless. Like there's like it feels like it's trying to force an emotion instead of actually getting a reaction or an emotion out of you. I don't know. I'm not happy with this sequence i think this was terribly paced this was terribly paced and it just does not hit what i think they were intending it to hit because it was shocking but that's it once the shock wears off you're like wait what the fuck is happening i'm so confused i'm more confused than anything else and i'm irritated by the confusion okay well whatever Cause it felt like they were building up to like this whole like you can't trust anybody you don't know who's gonna be on your side who's not on your side and then like but now we're dealing with this and this just is just weird. What's going on? Why is it getting hot in the memoria? Sam probably. These are all 
charred remains. They're still smoldering. The culprit can't have gotten far. Sam. I suppose we can slow down for now then. We just talked about this. It's Sam. Razor creature bears narrow and deep incisions with evident traces of charring inflicted by intense burning. A few sparks dance and flicker within resembling shadowed stars departing toward Ix. Looks like this monster was slain by a thermic weapon. Okay. They're all just burning remembrances. A stark contrast to this deep sea. Careful. These traces are fresh. Our unsought guest isn't far away. I mean, yeah, we were looking we were looking for, for the Solar Hunter anyways. The remains of this creature pierced by an a weapon reveal inner tissues that have been seemingly evaporated rapidly due to intense heat. You cannot approach any closer. The steam escaping from the shattered body would undoubtedly scorch you. It looks like this monster died of a hyperthermic reaction. Crazy. The surface of this creature remains appears unremarkable, yet as your hand grazes it, the searing heat transfers your fear to send you jolting back as it's struck by electric shock. Without a doubt, a fierce inferno rages within the enemies, desperately longing to break free from its confines. For the sake of your safety, it is best to keep your distance. Something's off. These traces are fresh. Someone just left the scene. Would this person have anything to do with what's happened just now? I cannot reach a conclusion with so few clues. Just listen to your gut. You were the one who said that the remembrance doesn't lie. Wait, you weren't there for that conversation, were you? You weren't there for that conversation, Acheron. From the memories of these cars. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. When she said that, I'm pretty sure Acheron was not there. That was when we were talking to Himiko in March. And Welt, right? And Chris. All one strike kills. Maybe a mercenary or an assassin. Hmm. He entered through the door from the lobby and went farther into the hotel. If that's the case, he should have seen everything that happened here. I take back what I said. We have to hurry to that memory zone where Miss Firefly's presence was imprinted. Considering what this oh, person can do, if his goal is that place as well, there won't be anything left there. You two this way. I'll try to create a stable shortcut for you. Sure. Whoa. Pass into the dream of chaos. Step past me and into the immemorial void. Step past me into the living grace of dark. Before me, there was nothing apart from the immortal. After me, everything flowed when all evolved. Hmm. Interesting. Look. Upon leaving the lobby, the structure has become chaotic. Phase through that corridor and be careful. Do not alert the meme. This is truly a magnificent sight. It's this room then? Yes. More precisely, it's right below. Exactly what it means. Down. You two may not be able to phase through physical structures like memo keepers, but I've got a great idea that will help you safely reach the floor right below this room. It's really easy. See the chandelier? Next, we want to create some reasonably small movements. Still remember what I taught you? Feel the flow of the memoria, walk up the wall, and then get close to it. Go say hello to it. Cutscene. Look, it's common sense and easy, right? Are we jumping down from here? Don't worry. I'll do something about it. Let me stack the dream bubbles to give everyone a nice soft landing. Okay. Here we go. We landed safely. This is 
Amazing. Don't imitate the memo keeper without the accompaniment of one. Wouldn't it be lovely if these nosy newcomers found their way back home? <laughs> oh, makes sense. Everyone's a customer. <laughs> I'm scared. Stripe, get them. Stand still. These are devils. I'll crush them all. There's more to life. Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. Existence is you. Love this song. Say bye to breathing. Good so times. Good. Time to say bye. Boom. Out of the dots. No one will disturb us now. Here, how about I show you a little magic trick? Sure, after I find the chest in here, because there's probably a chest in here somewhere. No, no chest? <gasps> Are you ready? Don't be too surprised. Is that... Firefly? Yes. It's what this room left behind. The memories of her. The slight trembling of the ground. The fleeting reflections on the screen. The flow of memoria. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. As for the context, we'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now. Recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. Interesting. <laughs> Things I encountered with my trailblazer friend back then. If I'm not wrong, it has to do with the watchmaker. She mentioned your name. Thinking of you even in your absence. Seems like you two were pretty close. She seems to be sharing her discovery with someone. And... It's related to the watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. If she even did become a victim. She mentioned thinking of you. She seems she has no. If I could try again. She stares at the screens. Is she looking? Try again. Let's get going. Let's. Is there someone else? <gasps> She seems very nervous. Yes. What is making her so nervous? With all this in mind, Firefly and her companion, there should only be one, have entered this corridor together. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know when I'll come back here, so where was that bird? I saw it. I saw the little thing sticking out somewhere. Where do I see that? Where do I see that? that was... And I'm sure I'll come back to this zone eventually, but I'd rather grab it right now while I'm sitting here. as well. The more important persons have taken to the stage. Screamscape is drowned by deep water and the future isn't taken with the right except you take leads to unknown and mysterious. Do you still remember the two women who were beside you at the time? You have to make a choice which one of them would you prefer to control your future? I only believe in myself. What do you mean? <laughs> no, 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 no.
Well, they even they know there's gonna be people who are like, ah, I don't really care to do this, so they're just like here, batch select. This game. This game is always just one step ahead of everybody, I swear to god. Game is just constantly being like, yeah, we get it. If you want to do it, you will, and if you don't, here, we'll make it easy so you don't have to click through everything. This game. I appreciate that. It makes me kinda wanna do it, you know what I mean? This isn't what we agreed on. Why did you this isn't what we agreed on? The situation has changed, and it seems that Companion has deviated from the original plan. Perhaps, judging from the outcome, this is that person's true intention. Yeah, you can just stack them in one spot, and now you can batch select them. You can batch select them all into one spot, is what I'm saying. Why? Who forced her to go that way? And... Mecca? What an intriguing statement. I recall the Bloodhound family is pursuing a criminal. A tall ma hmm. male in some hmm. armor. Hmm. Sam's involved somehow. Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. But why? She mentioned that this transaction involves the Watchmaker, and that often means stepping on many people's toes. They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Do you mean... Firefly? This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Unless... There's something else he cares more about and needs. Or should I say, is verifying. She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. Hmm. The door? Based on these fragmented pieces of information. She mentioned they might have. Do you mean there's something else? Predictable pathways pointing toward a wandering mean. She was completely lost in the memory zone. Unfortunately, this path ultimately leads one to the layer of death. Unfortunately, this path ultimately... Yeah, right back where we started this one. <laughs> She thought she had escaped, but... She thought she had... <sighs> After that, it's the end. Every... It seems like someone has been awaiting us. I missed Ready the dialogue line there. Ready to step into the spotlight now. I missed the dialogue line there. Stellaron, Hunter, Sam. Oh. So Sam was helping her? 
and then stopped helping her and got her killed by death. I'm so confused. Careful. Jealousy Ranger. And a memo keeper. Leave now and nobody gets hurt. Like his voice. Or else all of you die here. Oh, I like his voice a lot. Let's go. The detective game is over. You shouldn't be here. Everyone's a customer. Stellaron Hunter Sam. Turn the volume up again. Turn that music up again, you know? I like it. Let's do what I did earlier, actually. So, I'm just saying, control effect res. Unremovable, takes wind damage, and weakness protect. Sam cannot lose toughness before entering the secondary combustion state. Oh, wow. Okay. DHGDR secondary combustion consumes HP in the secondary combustion state and dispels the weakness protocol protected effect becomes significantly more powerful in the state but all attacks consume HP deals fire damage to all targets with a high chance to burn them BHF fiery advance deals minor fire damage to a single target BHF heavenly fire deals minor fire damage to a single and any adjacent targets scorched earth deals minor fire damage to all targets after entering secondary combustion combusts the area and targets Still points when consuming combusted skill points, targets lose HP and additionally deal a set amount of fire damage equal to a certain percentage of the original damage. When they receive healing from other characters, the amount of HP restored is massively reduced. Ooh, he reduces healing. Okay, well in secondary combustion, Sam possesses molten energy, a corresponding amount of molten energy can be depleted upon being attacked with skills using skill points when molten energy is depleted. When the unit is weakness broken, dispels secondary combustion. When secondary combustion is dispelled, Sam receives increased damage and recovers skill points back to full for the targets. Awesome. One of the Sauron Hunters, a mysterious warrior donning formidable armor. The mecha suit possesses the power to unleash fire attacks engulfing the battlefield in flames. Let's go. So his weaknesses are lightning, again, lightning being common, uh, quantum and imaginary. Nice. I like how he just barely is like, ugh. Like it doesn't phase him. I like it. Good times never last. Time we'll go to slow again. For this fight. Song. That breathing sensation. He just doesn't give a fuck. He has no reaction to anything hitting him. Great. Step one implementation. Okay. Just kick me. Okay. Relax. You'll do. Every petal in life's scarf will Music be swept so away by the wind of time. May as well kill them all. I will set the seas ablaze. Damn. Dude, he looks so cool. <laughs> oh, this guy looks so cool. Alright, so lightning will now work on him. And we have fiery skill points. We, we, we take... Oh my god, we take damage when we use skill points. We take a ton of damage when we use skill points. Look at that. You can see it down here how much damage we'll take when we use this skill. That's actually kind of cool. Alright, so I'm going to use a basic then. Fuck that. Stand still. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. These five stacks. Once you're back in the real world, remember to tell everyone about the Stellaron Hunter who was behind your ultimate departure. Mm -hmm. Scorched Earth operations. 
Bro, <laughs> that is awesome. If I so Sam better be a playable character, and that better be his ultimate. Better be something like that. That or that better be his ultimate. That was fucking awesome. That's so good. Cool. So cool. I can't wait to move. I hope he's our first fire destruction character. I want it so bad. Give it to me. Oh my god, that's so fucking cool. He's so awesome. He's so cool. I am gonna heal, even though healing is reduced. I'm gonna heal. That is nuts. That's so fucking cool. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. Pay attention. Like my inner, my inner mecha lover is like, yes, yes. My friend Scrav would love this. Coop would love this. That breathing sensation. I'll take the damage. Step one, implementation. Every petal in life scarred. You definitely need to break him fast, because otherwise he's just gonna start killing you. He's just gonna start killing you really fast because you're doing damage to yourself, which means you're probably not using as many skills as you would normally do, right? Relax. Yeah, and with healing being massively reduced, you need to break him as fast as possible. And probably also have shields. Shields are probably going to be a thing. Japard is probably going to be one of the things that you're going to want with him. In a more serious fight. Because this is the story mode version of the fight. It's not going to be as hard, most likely. There's more to life than drawing breath. Oh, okay. Eternal yeah. melody. May He's well not going to break. I don't have enough characters right now to break him fast. Oh, I'll go to Dot. If that's the case. Oh, wait, the Dot. Okay, there we go. Cutscene. The cutscene. Leave the dance stage to them, my dear. What? Man. <laughs> what a show. Fucking adventuring. Well, thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. When I first saw the Ranger and the Hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. This is why you can't trust the IPC. Oh, uh, you can't trust fucking nobody, man! As promised. I've delivered the child. Stop calling me a child, you bitch! Is Fuck this bitch. I knew it! I knew I couldn't trust her! I knew I couldn't trust her! <sighs> if she got Firefly killed... like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary... Oops. From that galaxy ranger. What? Okay, I, okay, look. Everybody is like, nah, don't trust them, you should trust me. Nah, don't trust them, you should trust me. Nah, don't trust them, you should trust me. Actually, they're trying to kill you. No, actually, that person's trying to kill you. I don't trust anybody anymore. I don't trust nobody. None of you. All of you can go to hell. Right. <laughs> I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you think. Nobody here is simple. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? Is she not? She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. She's an wait. She's an emanator. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is, is she an emanator of the? She said hunt. She an emanator of the hunt, which means she would bring death and finality. That makes sense. 
I'm I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I am in shambles. I am an ab. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Wait a minute. Wait, what if Akron is the death thing? How does she keep getting in here? Cuz like so Lan Lan the Hunt is is death basically, right? Like that's kind of the point. Yausha being like life and abundance and like all this other stuff and, and you can't escape death. It's kind of the point. Oh, I'm so confused. Uh, an emanator who's? Well, perhaps the hunt or destruction or even finality. No, you can't. No, it fuck you. You can't just be like, eh, she's an emanator, but not tell me which emanator she is. Ah, could be the hunt, could be destruction, could be finality. I didn't even know there was an A on a finality. Fuck you, Adventure, and I don't trust a single goddamn word that comes out of your mouth. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know <laughs> Duke Inferno? Too many characters. I'm just telling you right now, we now are introducing way too many characters. I fought him before. Yeah. Nicely done. As expected. I'll cut to the chase, then. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a... Dr. Ratio? <laughs> Wait, did Dr. What? There's so many characters involved in this shit. How deep does it go, man? How deep does it go? This is crazy. This is crazy. He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion and viewed Nanook as their savior. In actuality, they were led by this duke to go around burning and living, yeah, I know. practicing the will of destruction. And even the other annihilation gangs weren't spared. I'm not sure what the family was thinking. Or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. And why would the Everflame Mansion decline? They harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. Okay. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Because Ifrit is dead. What? So you're telling me, you're telling me, if he's telling the truth, are you, if, you, if, if this is true, are you telling me that whole video, the whole ass Mahoyo video that they released being like, Ifrit and his children are coming to Penacone, all a lie. As I expected. What do you mean, as I expected? Nobody better pick that option. Nobody, really, nobody in their goddamn mind better pick as I expected because no fucking way, no goddamn way, unless I've just totally missed something, no fucking way. They were eliminated on their way. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. What? <laughs> wow, that is, that is insane. If this is true, if if this is true, and I'm, I'm just gonna for the moment, go ahead and take it as true. Holy shit. That's insane. Let me guess, it was all Acheron. Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Penacone, checking into the hotel with only a music box. <laughs> Do you still need me? I wonder if her red lines friend. are... Hold on, she has red lines. I wonder if... I'm now wondering if Duke Inferno is not actually dead, but is inside Acheron. Hmm. Yeah, do you have any other evidence? Like, 
Like, is that the moment? The galaxy rangers come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. If she remains silent, there's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. So, my friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Or, you can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Pentacone. That's insane. What a, what a bait and switch by Hoyoverse. What a bait and, like, what a heavy ass bait and switch by Hoyoverse. I don't know if I like it, or if I love it, or if I hate it. Because right now, the Firefly thing is still random as fuck to me at the moment. Because that, I'm just not sure what, what... At the moment, I'm not sure what value any of that really brings to the story at the moment. Um, but this twist with like the Duke Inferno trailer and all this other stuff. And them, them teasing Duke Inferno and having all these things about Duke Inferno. And then him just being, well, a red herring. Um... Maybe that's why her dialogue is red. I don't know. I'm so... There's so much. This this storyline is so complicated. I'm sure I'm missing so much. And my brain cannot fathom what is actually going on. And I will probably have to watch like three videos of smarter people breaking this shit down later on. Because holy crap. I need your help. So I'll wait. But not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. Also, you know what I do like about this? Um... Camera out of focus again. Thank you. It's having a hard time focusing. I'm gonna put some more light on me then. Um. My hair's like disappearing into the black behind me because there's no other light at the moment. I... What was I going to say before my camera went out of focus again? I don't know. I don't know. As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have... Thing I, oh, I know what I was going to say. I like the fact that we actually... It's just us. Like, there's no March 7th. There's no Welt. There's no Himiko. They just keep finding reasons to get the other characters Akeron out of the story. is the emanator of a particular eon. Uh, can I really believe a venturing? But he gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. Why? I don't trust that bitch. She lies. She's been lying since the start. What do you mean? The remembrance doesn't lie. My ass. So. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep going. My, my. You look like a small injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? I, okay, I don't I like her anymore. Like, I don't like the way she, like, basically just constantly belittles your character, calling you a kid, calling you a small injured animal. It's just really fucking condescending and annoying. Her voice is great, but her personality sucks ass. I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him. But I'm off, see you, maybe just lurking. All right, see you. Safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone. Recognizing his immense potential cool. in Panacone, everyone may be lying, but do you still remember? I said the Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories, I will treasure them. Maybe not. My take on this might surprise you. In my view, he's a trustworthy individual. Not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one True. values honesty in contracts more than a Fair merchant. Fair enough. Like, I, I, I made a similar statement earlier. It's like, some people are just predictable in, like, how they are. Even if they're, un un they are predictable in their untrustworthy with. You can trust that he will make the best deal for the most money. And he will gamble on that because he's a gambler. But yeah. always be on guard. 
particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Mm -hmm. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, just as we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. And yeah. No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything. Yeah, probably. Us. It was an unexpected finding from an earlier encounter. With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. Oh, god damn. That's why, during this golden soiree, she is the dance's centerpiece. Interesting. So she is an emanator. Um, that means she is most definitely um, the, the, the dill of of 2.0 of, of 2.0 plus patches and what i mean by that is if you've played genshin you know that uh, every once in a while they release the archons the gods right you know nahida zhongli um etc etc right right and shogun etc and and the reason i would um um yeah she'll be the 2.1 i know but she'll yeah she is the uh yeah, the X1 character. She is going to be um, probably on the same power level and scale as uh, Dan Hung Five Star because Dan Daniel, with his full power, is basically an emanator of long, you know, the uh, long the impermanence, right? Um, which is basically our equivalency of Ar of Archons, so to speak, from Genshin, I would say. So that is interesting. And the fact that that story is actually is it being focused around here, much like how um, the story of uh, the Laofu was focused around Dill, makes a lot of sense. Interesting. Why, of course. But now is not the time. I know you are confused and sad. Whoever that girl might have been. I'm not even really sad. Soul. A memory that was meant to last. She simply vanished, like the dissolution of bubbles in water, disappearing in an instant. No matter what, I hope you can trust Aventurine, or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. Stop highlighting the word truth, I get it. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Benaconi. I will protect you. Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions for the truth and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices. It is the right choice. Perhaps he plans on doing so, but I won't. The Garden of Recollection has eyes everywhere. If he wants to hurt you, he'll have to fight against the memo keepers. I've warned him about that. Later, I'll stay by your side as a mimetic entity, just in case. Time to set off. <sighs> I don't trust them. I don't trust nobody. I don't trust anybody right now, man. Not a single person. Go and meet a Venturine, or I could still choose not to help. Is that an option? Is there a place to walk out of here? Because I'm super curious if that's even possible. I doubt it. I highly doubt that. It is not recommended. Wait, re wait, really? You can just walk away? No, I don't believe that. I don't believe that they actually would let you just walk away. Yes? Bro, that's cr How? I just want to know how. I'm not going to do it, but how? What happens? That's I'm curious. What what happened? Like I, I want to know. I kind of want to know what happens. Walk out the door on the far side of the room. So this one over here, opposite. But why? I 
down the stairs. Oh, over there? Over this door over here? Or that door over there? First one? You can just walk out the door. But like, but like my question is at that point, and then what, like, Black Swan will appear and ask, wait, seriously? Are you still continuing down this path? This is a rare opportunity. Leaving here will also mean leaving the truth. You're right, I can't leave. Yes. I better think about Aventurian's proposal. Bro, that's nuts. I want to know, though. I'm so curious. Because, like, wow, that's crazy. I assume that if you actually go that way, does it just, like, end the story? Is the like, quest over? It's a game over? What happens if you get a game over? Does, can you not play the game anymore? <laughs> Or do you have to like reload or something? I haven't seen that far. God, I want to know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to look it up. I want to look it up. What is this quest called? Who done it? Okay, cool. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I want, I want you guys to see it. I want, I'm gonna do it. It's safe. We're fine. We're safe. I'm gonna do it. I want to see it. I want to, I want to record. I want a recording of it. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna leave. You're going to see this. This is actually kind of cool. This is really fucking cool. Continuing down this it's path. safe. Don't worry. This is a rare opportunity. Leaving here will also mean leaving the truth. There's no achievement for it, but this is cool. I've, I've decided I'm leaving this place. I see. Fine. I respect your choice. Yeah, I want I want people to see Let's this. Let's return to reality. <laughs> After careful consideration, you decline Aventurine's invitation. This time, he simply watches as you depart from the memory zone without asking you to say, stay. <laughs> Returning to reality, you reunite with your companions. After a thorough discussion, the crew decides to assist Penacone, leading to the revelation of a conspiracy orchestrated by the IPC. With the expulsion of an ill-intended, with all ill-intended visitors, the Charmony Festival proceeds smoothly. As honored guests, you partake in the joyous atmosphere, filled with laughter, clinking glasses full of soul glad, and the exuberant singing and dancing of the crowd. May this moment last forever, and may we never awaken from this euphoric dream. Honkai Storyle. Lead actor, me. Starring, question, question mark is Firefly, question, question mark is Acheron, question mark is Black Swan, question mark is Aventuried. Starring Sam, Misha, Galagar, Sparkle as Sparkle. Special thanks to Robin and Sunday. Script supervisor, Elio. Hogguy Star Rail. I think it's going to, I don't want to dox myself with my account, so I'm going to quickly switch over to just chatting because it all it does is literally just go back to the main screen of the game. I will show it. Yeah. And it just logs you out. Game over. You beat, we beat the game. We beat the game. Quest over. We won. We did it, guys. We beat Star Rail. That's actually a really cool, I like it. I wanted to see it, that's cool. So when you log back in, it does not give you the option to select it again, basically. You have to go forward now. I love, I love that the game even does that. It's like, all right, you, you don't want to play the story. This is what happens. You can leave now. Like, you don't have to play the game anymore. You literally don't, like, just log out. You don't have to play the game, and it just doesn't even give you the option now. So, that's what happens. Just in case anybody's curious, you just log right back in, and it just doesn't give you the option. That is cool. There's no achievement. It's just a cool Easter egg, and I love it. I absolutely love it. This game, not every time, every once in a while, this game gives you, like, a choice, right? So if you really wanted to make that choice, you just stop playing the game at that point. You log out of the game. Um, It kind of reminds me of Nier, right? Like, when you get, like, these random endings, right, that, like, end in death or a game over screen or something along those lines. 
Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I like it. I like it. But I have to check because, like, in the Kafka quest, if you if you decide to turn Kafka in, it actually just stops the quest, and you can never you can never go do it. It's over. So that's why I had to check to make sure that it didn't do that with this. So that was cool. I like it. Very, very cool. Very good job, Holyoverse. Very, very good job. I like it. Excellent. I knew you would come. By the way, about that memo keeper. <sighs> Never mind. I won't press the issue further. I've said before you can liaise with your companions, or even twist the narrative against me. I'll wholeheartedly embrace it. It signifies your potential. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So, my friends, don't let me down. Please, this way, if you will. Oh, right. I remember mentioning something after that. What was it again? <laughs> a familiar hallway, a familiar room. Do you remember? Last time we met was right here. Loki, our room is cursed. I agree. Our room is so cursed. Everything happens in here. Yeah. This is, this is why we can't have a room on the Just on the express. On door. Take a deep breath and get ready. Oh, I remember. My friend. After that, we played an enjoyable game. Tell me. Doesn't this feel eerily familiar? I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. Cutscene. Look, friend. The game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. <laughs> No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choices. And Robin's dead too? Or not. Welcome back. How is your preparation for the performance coming? It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine? Wait, that's Sparkle. <laughs> this is not good. You're the pride of the family. Don't let those unnecessary emotions affect your perfect pitch. I... no. Brother, you seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Is it because of the Watchmaker's guest list? Yes. I received the report that... death had taken some of them. Perhaps someone was behind it. I'm sorry. I forgot you just came back. You probably wouldn't know about it. Somehow, a nightmare called... Death has descended upon Panacone, striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally in the utopian dreamscape envisioned by the family. Such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise. It profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. How detestable. I can't believe this has happened. Was... Someone killed a Ken? Yes. There were two. One was a stowaway. Uh, the other... was you. That's enough, fool. Your deeds have Damn, sadly. that is cold. Pretty sharp, aren't you? Chicken-winged boy. The Odes of Harmony talks about honesty. The words of a fool begins with foolishness 
and end in treacherous This arrogance. bitch turned into his dead sister and tried to talk to him. That's fucked. Please leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. Oh, come on. Lighten up. Why so serious with all the quotes? Why so serious? <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? I mean, your darling sister's already a goner, right? Really? <laughs> Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance. It's not yet time. When the fated day arrives, I shall mete out justice with unyielding righteousness. Wow, you can endure that much? Truly a heart of ice you've got there. Hey, maybe we could actually get along. How about this? I'll stand in for your dear sister at events. <laughs> Surely you don't want the world to hear the Charmony Festival's been called off. The family has a plan. And do not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean, who could resist a guy rocking spikes? I love things? Sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need. The malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze and will soon fall by their own machinations. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bows strung, causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. And when that time comes, the heathen will realize they are but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. And I... I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally. Watchmaker. The Sound and the Fury. Trailblaze Mission Interlude. Yep, I knew it. Destiny Threads for, for Woven. And Stop One Heart from Breaking. Damn. Hmm. That's nuts. That's 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 crazy. This is crazy. Okay, so hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta we gotta talk. We gotta talk. We've gotta talk. We got a couple messages. Okay, I'll worry, I'll worry about that stuff later. What the fuck? Embrace the warmth in the ocean of memories. Fight still on Hunter Sam. Yep. The entire pe the entire pentacle will go mad. Oh yeah, witness the second murder. Oh my god, they just they just killing people left and right. Now here's the thing: I don't think they're dead. I don't think they're dead. Um, I have a feeling they're trapped deeper in the dream. Um, perhaps because everything we saw was all in the dream. Everything, even that last scene, was in the dream with Sunday. I'm pretty sure. Like. Everything has been in the dream. Absolutely everything has been in the dream. The reverie reality. I'm pretty sure. I think. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure even that was. Oh, yeah. Is that a stain? I like this coat. Even that was in was was in the dream. I don't know. Let's let's let me see. Uh, child's dream, reverie dreamscape. This is the hotel if we're in the Screamscape. I need to go to the like main area. The Hour of Twilight or whatever. The Golden Hour. Yeah, the Golden Hour. That's what I wanted. Because that was over here. They were literally standing here, I believe. I knew it was Sparkle the moment they set the question mark, so. Maybe oh, sleep I don't is know. That a stain? I like this so, he was standing right here. And this was here because it was in the cutscene. Imperian Hymns. Nice. 
So, Robin is dead. Robin is dead, and, and Firefly is dead. So here's the thing. Firefly's death was supposed to be super impactful and super, super suck for us, but it happened way too fast, and it, it just wasn't very suspenseful, and it didn't have a lot of weight. I feel like that's, it's in hindsight, that's okay. And I'll get to why in a second. And we find out Robin is dead. And that's, that's like, oh shit, okay. This is turned into that, like, 1920s noir murder mystery. That's who, who done it. That's why the quest was called Who Done It, right? We've literally, like all these characters, every single one of them, you have the mysterious fortune teller, you've got the gambler, you've got the mob, uh, the mob characters, and you've got, you know, your character at the center of this, you've got a trickster, a fool, another card. Um, you've got, you know, you've got all these different things. And so while I was really upset in the moment because it made no fucking sense, after the moment, as they start to explain things a little bit more, I'm like, okay, this is not supposed to be a, oh my god, people are dying, big adventurer moment. No, this is a murder mystery, which means that the deaths are a little bit less impactful on purpose, because your characters are supposed to die. People are being murdered, right? There's a killer on the loose, right? Whatever that killer may be. It could be Acheron, it could be me, it could be, uh, it could be anything, right? There's like a lot... There's a lot going on. So it's it's very I like it. I like it. I actually like the in hindsight, um my initial like, oh what the fuck? Uh is still valid in that moment because nothing is explained, but past that moment, once once everything's here, I, I'm I'm okay with it more. I'm okay with Firefly's death a little bit more. It's simply because of the fact that I'm realizing it's not just a one off kill. They're killing multiple characters because nobody is safe. This is what Hoyoverse, uh, the guy who wrote the story, was talking about. Like, nobody is safe. This is a murder mystery set in the 1920s, basically. You know, where you're not sure who is telling the truth, who's trying to get what, who the monster is, who's controlling the monster. It's kind of nuts, and, I'm, and it's kind of crazy that they were able to suck me in so much with this type of story. Um... So yeah, no, I like it. Are you a type of story focus player? Yes, I am. I like I like I like good stories. I will play a game for its story before and and like its its characters before I play a game simply for gameplay. I like this story. I like Panic Pony. I like 2.0. I think this is actually absolutely fantastic. Um It's kind of nuts that this is this is the direction they're going. This is just a murder mystery in the 1920s and I kind of love it. I kind of love it. Um I hope Akron is not actually the villain. Though I kind of also hope she is. It's crazy to me that um, they've debated us so hard with Duke Inferno. And that trailer and all that stuff. They've just baited us so freaking hard. Right? Um, because that trailer, in a lot of ways, was kind of like the the Fatui trailer they did for what we call it. You know, introducing all the characters. You're like, oh, okay, we might see some of them. It's gonna be this big bombastic thing on the planet, right? And it and it really wasn't. It's more insidious. It's more sinister. It's a little slower. It's 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 a mystery. It's a murder mystery. It's the best way I can describe. If you don't like murder mysteries, you probably won't. You might not like Panacone because this is really good. This is a really good murder mystery because we don't like death is there, but we don't really know like where exactly it came from who was controlling it who sent out all the letters to get everybody there i don't know how i didn't put that together before it's a very um it's a very um it's a very common trope in murder mysteries and like the who done it game you play with friends at a party like who's the murderer right is everybody got an invitation to be at this party um we played the we played a horror game version of that that kind of story a while back on a Halloween day, tabletop wise. So it's very it's very good. Uh, that may be the reason why you choose Ian dialogue dialogue voices to be easier to focus on story. Yes, that is one of the reasons I do choose uh, English voices is to better understand the characters and the meaning that they're trying to get across, um, and the inflections and tone. So when someone's being sarcastic or something along those lines, it comes across a little better because I understand it because well I speak English. And um, it just makes it an easier viewing experience as well, because then I can actually vi see, you know, see what I'm doing and everything going on. Um, yeah, 
It just makes it it just makes it easier to follow the story. And I also just like the English VAs too. I don't think the Japanese ones are better. I don't think the Chinese ones are better. I don't think the English ones are necessarily better. I think they are all different. And each character has a different voice. And sometimes they sound they might sound a little better in another voice, but I don't think anything is overly better in any direction. Um They've definitely taken a very interesting approach to some of the voices for some of the why is there so much pop in and pop out? That's that's my biggest problem with Pentacle. So much popping and popping. I wonder if it's because we're in the dream, but they did it in the in the um, in the regular world too, in the real world. So I don't know about that. But yeah, I think um, I think I'm gonna end the the recording here. So um, this my final thoughts are 2.0 is a really good base setup for a really good murder mystery. Um, from the detectives to the the possible criminals to those who are dying. Um. All of that. Very, very, very good. I, I like it a lot. I like it. It's a good, good, solid base for a 1920s murder mystery. So, yeah. If you like this type of content and you want to see more of it, please uh, remember to like, a comment, and a subscribe. Hmm. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.